What's going to write? This is Bro Star of the Bird Bag and Misfits. And of course, I'm always joined with my wonderful, wonderful co host, CW. Ugh. We're back in the studio. <laughs> How about that? Oh, in the same place we were years ago. <laughs> Forward progress. Hey, hey. You gotta realize that this is a wonderful business place that many people should come to. Oh, well, I and wasn't trying to talk about my business. I was saying really for progress. We are AVN nominated, baby. Remember? Yeah, AVN nominated and probably more nominations soon. Not that it does me any good, but hey. <laughs> We have a wonderful guest today, don't we? Yeah, we do. We have the wonderful. Uh, you're losing your headphones. <laughs> yeah, I just, I lost, you, you uh, just didn't set yourself up for. I have literally lost my headphones. My hair is literally in the way. It's not ready for. It's not meant for the headphones. Yeah, it's like literally in the way. So my hair is like pushing the headphones off my head simultaneously. Do you need a little table or something? Oh no, it's. I probably did, but you know, it's okay. It's, it's more. It's not the microphone. It's my hair. Good hair isn't meant for headphones. Exactly. And like, it's not <laughs> done. It's not done so I have to wear a hat. You know, because if I uh, took my head off all the way, I probably would scare uh, um, Miss White out the entire building. What? <laughs> Why do you say that? At least you got hair on the top. It's not like you got like locks and then it's I like think, no I think, uh, no stuff in the front. <laughs> and you looking like a predator for it's, real. It's, it's slowly... Like, hey, like, don't, don't speak to that until you better get Oh, it's just some, growing out. You I'm, get I'm sure it's growing out. You better get some rosemary, some other stuff, and you rub that in your scalp. Well, right? I, have to, I, have to, I really need to Pull get that it. down. I have to get it, you know, wash, condition, and I don't do it myself. So I always get the person who do my hair. Okay, let's not get distracted. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> we have a wonderful, wonderful guest today. She's with OC Modeling, and she's out here, you know, going to be making her big waves, and... She was actually recommended to me to uh, like message her like right away, and the person said like, you know what? Who was it? I'm going to get there. <laughs> Let me get there. They said, you know what? Hit her up now. And I'm like, okay, okay, I'll, I will do that. Roll major. Wow. See, you could have just said roll major. Roll major. Shout out to roll major. Thank you, roll major. Roll major. Shout out to you. He's always, I don't know, he's always sending people. He's always, yeah, someone comes on the pod and they're like, you know who I have to thank? You know who called me, told me a, a, a bunch of tips? Ron Major. Ron Major. Ron Major. He's the plug. He's the plug. Yeah, he's the plug. Sure. He was that dude. But anyway, we have Miss Lee. This is a gateway drug. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to start calling him that. What's going on with the gateway? Like, he's going to be like, huh? <laughs> I kind of like, that's like a fire title though, like. <laughs> I'm, I'm the gateway drug. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought about it and did a minute. All my fiends, like you could really, I don't know, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's how I got off into this, actually. <laughs> I knew I could do it when I met him. He told me it's like, it's just that easy. Oh, God. Because he does make it seem like that it's easy. Yeah. You're like, yeah, just, yeah, just start, just get into it, just do this, do this, do this. And you're like, hey, you might. I, would, you I don't think man? any business is easy. In no, man, it sounds possible. That sounds possible. I don't know. That sounds. I gotta think about how trouble I mean, that actually I mean, sounds. I mean, it does though. And like he just always just like he does what he does and he's out the way. But you know. It's hard. It's hard not to want to convince people to get into business for themselves when they're working for someone because you realize how good it is and you're like, I want that for you. But you know, it's not easy. It's definitely not yeah, easy. Oh, it's not easy business. And then, at all. and then like he always like you know really try to you know. Promote like people who you know are great people like yourself, and you know, yeah. really just trying to say, Hey, this is a good person, this is a wonderful human being, and yeah. Oh, shit, I'm not, I just realized that my camera can't get up. Wait, excuse me, huh? <laughs> okay, go ahead. What am I doing? Go ahead, it's okay, it's okay. You know, it's, it's a focus on her. <laughs> it's a focus, a focus on her. Anyway, Miss White, yes. tell us about yourself. Um, I. Where do I start? Um, I'm from here, just a normal girl from LA who fell in love with the adult industry at 18 years old and I just got into mainstream porn and I'm having the time of my life. So how long have you actually been in this wonderful industry of ours? So I started camming at 18 and with that comes making your own content and all of that stuff. And then a year ago from last October, so about a year and a half, I signed to OC and I started doing mainstream porn and it's been so much fun. 
So what, like, uh, so so far it is crazy, and it's your what has been your favorite thing thus far that you shot? You know. uh, that's hard because like different ones are my favorite for different reasons. Um, I mean, like your your first time is you know unforgettable for sure, and that can be a good or bad thing. Yeah, like, I've heard people who love their first scene. Yeah, and then people say, "Oh my god, that first scene!" You know, I didn't know what I was doing. I was go- I went in there thinking the, the director was going to yell at me. Uh, uh, I thought he was. Like they, they were, they were like saying, "Oh my God, what is this girl doing?" Oh my God, like, please, you know. <laughs> no, I think, I think. Um... I mean, you never know what you're going to walk into, but it was funny for me because I was making my content before and, like, I was already doing that kind of stuff. It was funny because my first scene was Casting Couch, and with that, you're supposed to act innocent and like you don't know what's going on. So that's sort of what they want, and that was kind of hard for me to do because I wasn't used to being that. They said, like, don't act like a porn star, and I'm like, I don't know how to do that. (laughs) Um, Act like you don't know what's going on, basically, and I'm like, okay. So... um, so that was hard, but honestly, it, it's just because it's so, you're just trying to remember everything, and like you're just so like nervous for how it's going to go, and then it's so quick, and then it's over, and you're like, oh my god, that was, that was like, I don't know, so it, it's definitely not easy, but it's just like, it's so much fun, and it's just not what you think, and it's so, um, I don't know, I felt so, <laughs> can I swear? Yeah, I, you can I, swear. I, I felt so fucking good after my first scene, I was like taking videos, I was like, guys, guess what I just did, like I was so happy, so... Yeah, but I mean, favorite, like I did um, like a huge uh, gang, girl gangbang with a bunch of girls from Motley and like a few other um, agencies, I think. That was like my third scene, loved that. Uh, Jerky Oki was really fun because it's like a game show and I got to like throw water balloons at some guy and then like eat some girl's pussy. It was great. It was a fun time. So, you know, there's different ones that are fun for different reasons. I can't really choose one. It's hard. I understand that. I know... Um I seen your uh, first scene pop up. I don't know why this is echoing again, but there's that. But um, yeah, I seen that. I seen that scene when I was researching a little bit, and I'm like, oh, it's my homegirl Liv. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I love her, Liv revamped. She's awesome. We're going to the side trance show on the 29th. Oh, so you y'all, y'all did okay, okay. You know what that is? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like a psychedelic trance. <sighs> so, wait, what? What is side it? trance? Side trance. Yeah, like EDM. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it's like a, yeah. Outside of my world. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what we do together. Cool. As friends, I guess. Uh, Rock on. Uh, plur, I don't know. <laughs> no, plur is good. Close enough, right? Yeah. Here. I don't know. <laughs> plur, rage, whatever. <laughs> I, did, I did this because I'm fucking <laughs> beach kid. Anyway, anyway. I get it. <laughs> So how old are you? Because he said that you started camming. Yeah, I tried to put the numbers together. <laughs> um, I just turned 26 this March. Oh, okay, okay. Shit, I thought you were really young. I was like, oh, no, God, no, no, no. dang. <laughs> no, yeah, it's been, what is it? Fuck, I'm so bad at math. Like, seven, seven years? Seven, eight, seven no. years, seven. okay. No, that's eight, yeah, yeah. yeah. You did October, so that's eight, eight months. We always talk about the three-year burnout. I guess you wait. And she's, a, and she's, a, and she's a Pisces? Well, I'm, I'm fresh in the mainstream, but also, oh. uh, yeah, like, just okay. the adult industry. And I wasn't doing it. There was, like, on and off years when I was trying to, like, be normal and do normal jobs and shit. Or at least, I, I did, like, one regular nine-to-five job, and I was like, fuck this. What was it? Going back to gaming. Oh, I was a, um, oh, God, I worked at, like, a juice place here. So just like, like, starving white people bitching at you for like extra dressing kind of shit, you know, <laughs> like selling cleanses to just like yeah, it's it's not fun. Um, rather, I need mess. to get regular. <laughs> I need to detox to get it all out. <laughs> I like some juicing. Juicing's fine. It's just the culture around it. it's a little much. I can understand that. People are crazy about this shit. Yeah. I did. I was watching. Um, that Jim Carrey thing the other day when they was making fun of uh, old dude yesterday though. Wow, he really yeah, went back. gave me a lot of information with that one. <laughs> Jim Carrey, <laughs> that Jim Carrey <laughs> thing when he was making fun of that dude that one time. Jim Carrey <laughs> on Living Color when he was making fun of I don't know the man's the old old white man's name back in the day. They used to be talking about all he talked about was juicing and how extreme it was. You're talking about juicing or the fit guy Jack Lalane. Yeah, him. Juicing. Okay. Because isn't juicing also like 
steroids or something. I don't oh, know. yeah, that can be considered yeah. juicing, too. Yeah. But, man, I don't understand. I mean, people do juices and stuff, but, like, uh, you need the fiber from the fruit. So, like, Mo, you want it, you want the pulp. You want all that stuff. There's a million diets yeah. that'll say why they're good for you, and there's a million people that'll tell you why not. So it's like, That's whatever. True. Just do what makes you I mean, feel good. No. I, would, I, would, I would more so someone who works in the fitness <laughs> I wouldn't say do what makes you feel good, because uh, I enjoy cocaine. Then no, you know, I'm joking. Then I'm joking. I don't do that. I don't do that. Um, but uh, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. For the most live part, your you're your most life. right. Live your life. I look at it like this now. We live to be so old, like. A hundred years for ago? For what? No, yeah, for what? <laughs> no, but like, do you want to be 80? Do you like, want to be 80 anymore? You're, done. You're, you're not having fun. Oh, I'm great. Like, oh, yeah. You know, exactly. Like, uh, I can't. I'm shitting Thank on you. myself. Like, it's over. You put your dog down <laughs> when it can't move. Okay. okay. No. I'm not saying you put grandma down. The fact that you're saying 80. Oh, my God. Like, and I'm thinking I'm, I'm already halfway there. Hey. But That's half. A, half. Can, you're doing your whole life again. You're going to be done. Do you know how bad <laughs> things could get in 25 years? Do you really want to live another 40? But also, we could die tomorrow. That's so, like, true, do whatever true. you want. You know, that's kind of bad. Yeah. At the end of the day, truly, we have no idea. Yeah. So I, just do whatever makes you happy. If you die at 40, <laughs> you can be like, well, I died of old age in 1903. That was kind of old age. <laughs> you're saying, like, bragging rights? You can be like, hey. <laughs> Because people are like, he died so young. And you're like, if it was like 1903, I'd be old. They would be like, oh, he lived a full oh, I see life. What you're <laughs> like now, they'd be like, oh, he was 62. He was so young. Yeah. Really, it's really? It's all relative. It's all relative. Was he? If it was 1854, yeah. he'd be like, he's ancient. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so. So you've been doing this in this industry for a while. What's dating like? Uh, is it hard to find love? I mean, it's I've hard. heard it is. Me. I have never and don't know if I will ever date. Oh. I'm just a weird. I'm a weird one like that. I'm a weird. What do you mean? Unicorn where I just like I'm so comfortable being alone. But um, so it's really easy for me not to have to worry about that. But I've heard it's hard. I, you know what though? <laughs> you know what's great though? I heard y'all out here suffering. I'm not. No, I, I mean, but to be fair, like I don't think it's really that much easier without the porn job. Um, it's not. You know, there's always a reason that it doesn't work. So, but I've met a lot of porn couples, which I fuck with that. Where like both of them are in porn, so I feel like that's, that's kind of the closest to that being. Because no matter how much it is work, and no matter how much you could understand that. It's hard, like just knowing that if it's if it's one sided, you know, if, if they so it's like if you're both in the same industry and you understand that shit, which again is true with a lot of relationships, even just but being I, out and collabing with people like, I you know, like know this. this. If you're like, oh, I'm gonna talk to this porn star for an hour like every day, not that you do this every day, but you don't know what I'm saying, like, yeah. And so it's I don't know, it's kind of true with every. Industry. It caused a lot of trouble in my previous relationship. <laughs> there you go, there you go. So. No matter what you're doing, necessarily, it can... It Hell, can. being a personal trainer probably caused a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, like, there's a lot of people who I know who are relationships. Some have a person who is in the industry or adjacent to it, and they do really well. So, if I want a porn girlfriend... Which one's in I the gotta industry? I got to do porn, huh? I mean, you could just do... You could just be her stunt cock. <laughs> I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess I do have to do porn. It is what I, I did. Uh, um, hmm? In the past, hmm? I may have Yeah, you've, you've made a little debut. You've, you've, you've oh. a, a, a oh. performer of two. Oh. Yeah, like. And yeah, it is kind of. Things get weird. At one point, it hits that. Hey, like, wait, hey, what, would you, what are we doing here? I'm not. I'm well, okay, but you said you know one or some that work, but which one is in porn? I'm curious. The, the guy girl. or the girl? Oh, interesting. The girl. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say who, but I was supposed to marry them. Oh. Like, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. For those of you out there who don't know, I, huh? I am, I'm, I'm technically ordained. So I can marry a couple. Oh, I thought you meant you were supposed to be married to them. Oh, I'm like, huh? That would have been <laughs> so, so trippy. I got, 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 I got,
I got ordained to marry them. Gotcha, gotcha. And like, cool. uh, then they got to be couple of until next year. But like, they, in my opinion, um, they are one of the couples who I feel is the like the ideal, you know, mm -hmm. relationship in the industry because he really helps her. Yeah, they seem like they work. Yeah. Yeah, it it's works. it's hard because there are healthy minded people that really can't. But it's like two out of like it's like what like one in like a hundred of us are healthy brained enough to really deal with that, you know? See, Which is fair. Like I don't know. I feel the yeah. hardest. Like just that secure, I guess. In my opinion, the hardest thing of when it comes to relationships in the industry, it's really just communication. True. Which is again like every relationship. I think that's and, every, yeah, relationship. It's every relationship. Yeah, every relationship. But the thing so, is, it's like. Yeah. For example, if let's say let's say you ha you have a you have your own hubby out there, your boyfriend out there, and like you're going to go do a scene with uh, someone random. Let's say Rome, bring him Rome again. So you're going to do a, go do a scene with Rome, whatever. You can at least say, yeah, I'm about to go do a scene with him, and then instead of just disappearing and then just you know going out there, and they don't know that hey, you're doing this, you know, and it's just you know just that little thing like oh, I'm going to do do work with you know, reality kings, whatever, instead of just saying, peace. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, yeah. and like much more than that though. Cause yeah, it's like, I that. mean, if you're just not telling where people where you're going, that's just kind of weird on any level. But like also, also if you're getting booked enough, like they probably know what you're doing. I think it's more little things like, cause like, okay, say you're on set and it's like, it's not about, oh, you come home and you're too, you don't like want to have sex with your guy. You might just be too tired because you literally just have like a gangbang or whatever. So it's like that kind of communication where you can like understand that that's not about you. I think that's where communication comes in with like those little things that'll, you know, that the other person might not understand because like sex is physical and mental, mental. And when it's work, it's just physical and it's so different. So if you come home and like, and, and you know, mentally it's a lot too because it's, you have to like put your full self into that scene. I, I'm not to say that's just physical. So, you know, I think just understanding all those little things and yeah, again, that just has to do with like every relationship, I think. I notice that that's the main, really any relationship, like not even romantic. I mean, with our family, with our friends, like communication's hard. I think, the hard, I think one of the hardest things though also is just, you know, depending on what type of your relationship you have, like if you have like, if, you're go, if you go home and you're monogamous, or if you you know you have an open relationship where you can you know you know communication is very important to have that part. Yeah, it's just like if you're monogamous, you gotta like be sure that you know a my uh, partner, depending on you know who you're with, like they're going out there doing this and it's just work. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like they're going into it and having feelings or they're trying to date or whatever. It's just you know I'm just going here working and then coming my behind back home. And some people can't get that. But also, one of the actual hardest things, which I don't know, I think this is like the hardest master, but actually voicing when you do have feelings for someone. Because when you don't, that's usually how cheating happens. And unfortunately, it's because everyone's just afraid of the fight. And yeah, so that's, because we're all human. And not even necessarily feelings, but just like, attraction in general because we are all human and you can share that knowledge without it being this secretive thing that then makes it sort of bigger than it is because again it's just there's physical and then there's mental oh you're right so yeah i agree i agree relationship philosophy no no no, no because like <laughs> well, yeah i just know certain people who've been in relationships not gonna say any names or anything like that I just know that <laughs> they've gotten. <laughs> I know this is not about you. I know. <laughs> just making sure. They've gotten like and this person's in porn. They got in situationships with a person where they were working a lot more than them, mm -hmm. and they feel some type of way about it. Mm. You know, and that's a big issue too. It's like they can't help that you know they're requested and you're not requested for for whatever reason, you know? And like the girl's getting more offended than the male, but that's usually how it is because it's so few, it's so, it's so few males in the industry, but then there's so many males that are just 
that per, just that person is requested repetitively. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> and like you might have had like two bad sh- like two bad shoots where you you know you came too fast and now forever you have a bad reputation. Being a porn dude is like being an NFL kicker. I was gonna say being in porn, no matter what gender. I the first the, that was the first thought I had. I thought we are athletes because this is literally just physical work. And again, I I keep saying that as if I mean that it's not mental, but I just mean like it is such a physical thing when it comes again compared to just having regular sex, where the it's about making each other feel good versus like we are making something look good for the camera and we have to do it this certain way and do it for this long and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it's much more, yeah. See, like, I think it's like I've, I've I guess it's more like dance in that way. <laughs> like, because there's yeah. like choreography and like kind of. I want to say two things that threw me off like when I was on my first porn set in general. Mm-hmm. Not when I was an expert in a long time ago. But when I was on the, my first porn set, it's like, how many times y'all stop? Gee, <laughs> like, you know, the, Gotta do this, do this, Sometimes, do this. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, and then like, if someone is waiting, like you know, if it's like more than one person and only one person is going, and the other person just leaves the scene, but they're still a part of it, they just sitting there, just gotta stand there doing this. <laughs> and for me, like that first time was so weird because they're standing next to me doing this, <laughs> yeah. and it's like I'm not a part of it. I'm just there. And it's like, I think it's you get, people get you get so desensitized to I'm, it. Like I am now. Yeah. But like that very first time, it was kind of like I can see what you're doing. Like I'm not looking <laughs> at you. That, that must be see. weird. Yeah. And it's weird because I f- never felt weird about it, and I, I didn't like collab or anything before I jumped into it. But it just seems so. I don't know. I guess because I've just seen enough, and I don't know what it is, but I think that also makes it very comfortable for us when the person is so, like, so far, the people I've worked with, they're so, like, they do, like, so many of these shoots every day that it's literally like you're showing them your pet ferret. Like, it just, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's, it's like they're looking at any other, you know what I mean? Like, it's not sexual at all. (laughs) In a way, you know? When you said pet pet ferret, I was like, I'll be very excited to see a pet ferret. (laughs) Yeah, I was like, but you know I what I mean? Know, it's, I it's like you're filming like someone like skateboarding. Mean, you're just like, okay, 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 yeah, okay yeah, now yeah. sweat, whatever. Like it's just, it's so yeah. matter of fact. Yeah, like so like, matter of fact. Because back, you know, like, yeah. No, yeah, no. Back when I first saw this, back when I first saw this, I was just, I wasn't doing like a lot of photography. I do photography now, but like I wasn't doing a lot of it back then. It was just like I'm popping up here and there because I'm working with people, whatever. And back then it was just different to me. And now it's like, oh, you're naked. Let's just play some, play some video games. And you're clearly butt naked on my couch. And we're just sitting here playing, uh, playing uh, Mario Party. And yeah. it's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Just, just another day of Rockstar. That's your house. <laughs> <laughs> it is, though. That's your house. You just got to make it your house, too. Uh, no, no, no. My, my, my house. It's, it starts with you. It starts with you. You get up. And you, you just gotta be making breakfast, nothing on, but not bacon because that's a hazard. Yeah. No splattering. No, like, no, no last, hot oil. Last year, my house has my house could be just could have made a documentary of this last year of the craziness. So and it's a completely no different thing. story. I'm not gonna go into it because it was crazy, especially June. But that's a different. Story. Especially I June. <laughs> Damn. Just June, and heck, this month, last month too. Different story, different story. Anyway, let's go back to you a little bit. So, uh, who is your uh, your top five people you have yeah. not shot with that you want to shoot with? Oh, that's hard. I don't know a whole lot of people. Um, it could be anybody. It could, sorry. I feel like this. Um, it could be... Okay, this. honestly, let's I... Do this. Living or dead. Living, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. Oh, <laughs> Amy Winehouse. Clean. Um, Hold on, don't, don't she was kind of thick when she was clean. I'm trying to show my shirt, like who's on my shirt right now. Oh, who's there that? you go, Marilyn, Marilyn right Monroe? there, Marilyn. Marilyn would be I, I, I won this shirt at a at a porn event in Miami. Oh, oh, oh! What's her name? Um, she's alive. Uh, uh. She's alive. Blonde bombshell. <laughs> um, blonde bombshell sex tape. Rock Pamela and Anderson. Guy. Her also hot. Her and Marilyn Monroe would be a fire three somewhere. Are you I'll kidding say, me? Young Pam. I take Pam right now. You so uh raw star. 
No. She still look good. She still he, look good. He's so, he's so. She look good no, as fuck. Yeah. I, I think she's added she more. She like 50 something. She's added more to Boy. Her. She's added more to her. Like tossing that away. Let me phrase this. I'm going to phrase no, it correctly. Hot, for it. Still. Everybody out there. So they like wine, bro. So, like wine. So I, so I don't get canceled. So here's the deal. Um, I like. I, like this, this, this is how I end up cussing. Like, I like big breasts. But there's a there's a there's a limit to what I say. Uh, uh, okay. But what if they're like perfectly round and like? What if they're and perfectly round? Well, and what kind of real respect? Like, you can cuss as much as you want to. Yeah. I'm known as a person who doesn't curse. And the last time I started talking about breast, it was I said my first cuss word in what was it, four years. Oh my god! Because I was talking about having sex with Brett Titty Effin. And I had just said, I had, there's no other word for titty fucking. You can't. I, I had said the word. <laughs> I was titty effing. Like, I, I had said the word, and I just, I just paused. And then, like, he called me, like, he's a rock star. We went to the last time. I am dead. Come. And I'm like, is there a reason you don't swear? On I. You just like to make your vocabulary I, better. I, I, I never, I never like. Cursing. It sounds good to people. I never, I never like cursing in front of uh, kids. He's trying to one up us. I don't like yeah. cursing in front of kids. I don't curse <laughs> and, in front of children. Um, and like, I did it one time. It's all but the thing is, like, I did it. It's my favorite. And hobby. I was like, I, I said an angry word toward uh, someone. And I was like, I'm sorry. I did not mean to say that. It just came you out. You dirty baby bitch. And, and all, all, all it was was H-E-L-L. And it was just like, you know what? It was what? What? He said it fast. What? H-E-L-L. Hell? Hell? Oh was, my god. And you're like, oh no. This then, kid's gonna start then, smoking but crack. Then, but, but, but then I started like I, I had discovered a way so I could start cussing. I started counting every cuss word that I said. So I went, You like, need that, your own dollar jar, so that, your that, swear that, jar. That, that first year was two fifty six. And you was just like too that, much. That second year was one sixty eight. That next year was twenty six. And then I went four years. You should have to like donate that money to something. I four I went four years without cursing and then I said one cuss word in February. Or you give know, it to a friend you hate or something. You know, if you <laughs> focus that mental energy on something hate. else instead of not cussing, you might, I don't know, cure cancer. <laughs> 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 I don't know. It just seems like a waste of energy. He believes in you. That's that's for sure. <laughs> I don't know. Or do something. No, it was just like... That's how you talk just, to yourself. It was, it, was just, it was just something mindful that I can say, okay, I can control what I say. You know? Not saying that I don't think the cuss words. I've cussed a lot of people. I need that in my mirror. Use it. Huh? <laughs> you, if you used your energy, <laughs> yeah. I need that in them every every morning I wake up. That's what people need to say. I, that's what I. We need to bring shame back as a motivator. <laughs> I, I in, love a, it, in a good way. No, you yeah. need to be able to walk up to people and be like, you're better than this. Tough luck. You're better than this. Yes. Look at you. you. You're a piece of shit right now. But also, let's be real. What's yeah. the biggest motivation? Shame. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <Yeah>. for me? <laughs> well, I was getting more at like, just yeah, when someone doubts you. Yeah, you be like, I think it's I'm more about doubt. To prove you wrong. Because shame is like about how you feel about yourself, but doubt is like, I bet you don't do this, or you never do this, or yeah. you could never do this. Like, and that's like, oh, now I'm going to do it. Let me show you something. Let me fucking show you. I'm, I'm going to do it the best you've ever fucking just seen. Just because. Because <laughs> you said I couldn't. You said I was a loser. I'm going to win. Exactly, exactly. You know, I agree with you, but I think also, like, I get, I get lazy. That's why you need that. You gotta. You need that. Like, get up off your ass. If you did this, you can. Yeah. Because like, don't get me wrong. Like, like what I do outside of this is fantastic. You know, it's easy for me to do. Maybe from home. But it's kind of like. It's a yeah, I don't feel like doing more. Like I leave just to back and play video games in my spare time. When you do the bare minimum, you get the bare minimum. <laughs> I know. He's like, I'm fine with that. So you can't, hey, you can't complain with what you get. Hey, whatever makes you happy, you though. You can't complain with what you get. The thing is, like, no. Okay. Like, I'll be trying. I'll be sitting in misery. The thing is, the thing is I, I'm not afraid to admit that, though. That's great. No, I people, applaud that. People are afraid to that. admit that, they're that they don't try and that their life try. is where it's at because they don't try? Yes. I mean, they want yeah, a and lot they, of people. That's and, they, and they blame everybody else. I'm, I, I will fully say I am a lazy person sometimes. Good for you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say this, dear. No shame. There you go. You can't complain about oh. anything where you can change it then. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to cut you off next time. 
You say, oh, woe is me, I, I can't find this. And I'm like, did you put any effort? Did you do it? What the fucking white Did you even was? try? Did you put any effort? You know, if you tried, pulled yourself up by your bootstraps. That's fucking dead. And did it. Yeah, you get what you want if you put in some effort. Shunny. There you go. <laughs> Young laddie. Yeah. Who's your four or five? I'm trying. I got one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was the question. Who's your four or five? Okay. When I think yeah. of people I know, I think of kind of like the mainstream kind of outside of regular porn, porn stars like Kazumi. Oh, Kazumi. Fucking Riley Reed, of course. Um, met her at ABN. So sweet. Did you meet Kazumi yet? I did. Uh, not, I'm going to say more no than yes, sort of, but it was so quick. Okay. I didn't get to be like, hi, I'm... Me, hello, love you, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I, um, it was just really quick at this like after party. I was like, hi, I love you. And she's like, why are you so cute? I'm like, ah. And then that was kind of it. But I got to talk to Sky Bree, though, and she was also so nice. And I fucking love her. Shout out to you, girl. Um, just the, like, Angela White, Cherie DeVille. Watched a lot of her shit when I was younger. We all, us girls, we just love our lesbian porn, you know? Um, oh, I mean, not the guy, right, no, right, no, right listen, yeah. No, listen. That's, that's what Ross died that's, like. That's all I watch. Ross that's, that's literally all I watch is, is Girl Girl. Nothing's, or girl the machine. nothing's more, like, nothing's prettier. Like, I don't. Than just. Like, no, oh shoot. No disrespect to my um, oh, own dick. Uh -oh. <laughs> no disrespect to um, my. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no disrespect to my uh, males out there. My oh, yeah, I know penis people. My Pen penis penis people. people. I don't want to see another man's penis. While no, I, you don't want to see nobody's like, dicks. You know, That's also a, because, a preference, though. And because and, it, and, it's, and it's two reasons. One, I know when I'm happy, whatever, I might be bigger than some of these people. Or I might be, you know... No, not I'm nowhere dead. near that. Nowhere near I'm that. Dead. I'm too he has big more dick for these envy porn. Than dick no, 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 no. It's like he can't place himself where that dick is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like so. so no dick empathy. It's all empathy or just it's, like, it's like it's like it's like okay. He's just like, like okay. I'm, or I'm, dominance. I'm yeah, bigger. my dick's bigger than yours. It's like, you shouldn't I'm, even be fucking her. Yeah, I'm, I'm, or damn, I'm, my dick. Look, my dick look like a little sweat tail. You it's know, like, it's like I don't want to watch this. It's like uh. If I, I see Why this gotta be dread X? Like if I, if I if I see blah blah, I'm like okay, I can I can I can I can do that a little better. Okay, I can I can I can do that. And the other person's like, oh my dang! Like, wow, that's no. so judgmental. Like that's a that's a that's a thirty foot ride. Like I'm over here just <laughs> like my dude going there after that. It's like he's like, oh. What do, what do you think Why about? Are you so concerned? What do you think about solo stuff? Do you like what, watching a girl like ride oh, a yeah. dildo? Oh yeah. Because then it's not anything. I, 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 I love girl, girl. I love girl solo. I love girl machine. But what about seeing toys that could oh, be like cool. a POV? I love, like my, my favorite thing is a uh, girl wearing strap on. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. like I just don't like to see, like another. I don't like, to like see the a, actual. Thing. I don't like to see a penis attached to a gotcha. person. A person. <laughs> You're like, uh uh. It's funny. I don't want to see no on. flesh rods. Like, like, and like, and like, no, disres no, no, no disrespect to my uh, my TS friends out there. Do you? It's still a. Um, your, your member is still there. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, if it's and not so, your preference, yeah, it's not I your preference. Yeah, I guess you no, don't no. want to see dicks. You don't want to see dicks on yeah. anybody, bro. Dicks are dicks. Dicks are dicks. Dicks are dicks. But, <laughs> but strap ons, strap ons are cool. I love strap ons, you know. And it's like, it's just that. So. Yeah. That's yeah. your preference. Yeah, so it's just a preference. It's just. It's something that I've known. Since I got one for you. I got one for since, you. Since I was. What about <clears throat> trans men with strap ons? What is. Do you mean trans women? No, trans men with strap ons. Well, Did I think either that? way he doesn't. Oh, you mean. So that. Wait, well, I'm confused. So, now. yeah. I'm confused. Female so to female male. So female to male, but with a strap on. But with strap ons. Well, no, because he doesn't want a guy attached to the dick. But does that count as you for you? Yeah, but their member is still there. No, no, no member. Purple, oh, purple it's strap on. Strap on over. <laughs> oh, you mean like one that has? I think it would give the same like a someone, someone who has had it removed. I'm seeing something. Someone who has had it removed and they're wearing a strap on. No, no, what? N no, why is it so confusing? <laughs> Female to male. Female to male. With a strap on. With a strap over on. Over their real dick. 
over there, let's say the female to male, but they haven't had bottom surgery, but they've had top surgery. This is so, this would like not happen. I don't, yeah, or maybe it would, I don't know. It's so specific. That's so, <laughs> like, that's so many layers. We'll come back to it at another time, Rasta. He has to get that, he has to see yeah, that first, I think, to even know. Like, you know, you know, you know, you went to Harvard and I'm still here <laughs> at Ivy <Army> Tech. <laughs> you got me confused, CW. You got me confused. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Fuck, I'm the worst. I forgot her name. But she won Trans Performer of the Year. I'm still new, so I, I didn't know her Kate. before this. But um, she's like blonde. She looks like a freaking Barbie. She's gorgeous. I I, I forgot, but I, I would love know, to film I, with I, her. I know. I know. Um, it's a few people I know that are TS. But I, don't I think know. she won. She won something. I'm so bad. Yeah, I, so, I, I don't know. Her, but this year. It's Arby, she's yeah, so cute. Is it Arby Kate? That's no, not. There's also oh, I don't no, know people's names. No. I really only. But she's like right there with her. I only know the names of people it's, who do like it the. It starts with the E, I think. Who aren't? Is it like Emma from, from? Is it Emma Rose? It probably was Emma Rose. That's that's. It was like a name. People gonna be like, I "This motherfucker no said acting like he was guessing." He knows. <laughs> no, no, because <laughs> like she's so there, cute. There are people like no because like I work with the nominations and stuff, and I see it when you know when we vote whatever. So, but since I don't. Watch it. Oh, you be like, I ain't concerned with who that is. Since I don't, oh, since I don't watch it, I don't remember everybody's names unless I, yeah. t- unless, I unless, 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 unless I meet them. You know, it's easier for me to remember names if I meet somebody. Also, I like, didn't know Cherie Deville's that, name even though I saw her on right everything. Uh-huh. The uh, TS and women. That's what's hot in the streets right now. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, like I know Foxy. Foxy is cool. So as is eating ass. Just saying. This is why I like now. This is a great. This is why I like now. This is why I like now. This is right now. You know, man, let me tell you. You used to have to ask. He's like back in my day. And we judge. <laughs> you lucky I'm sucking your dick. You don't want to eat your ass. <laughs> now you be like, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I mean, I again, wasn't even sure we were having sex. Let me go. Let me go get some baby wipes first. I don't. It is. I don't it is you, it's preference, though. Or do you? It's or do you like it dirty? Oh, oh. <laughs> let me not stop you. Look. Ah. <laughs> oh my leg. Yeah. Stop okay, it. I'm gonna say this. I've never. Mm, I'm so it uncomfortable. Get, oh. It didn't get like the thought of it. The thought of it throws <laughs> Take me off. Take my up some more. Stop it. The thought of it throws me off of having someone do it to me. So it's just, I don't know. Teach them. I'm all about it. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the thing Let's is, eat each other's ass. The thing is, the thing is Let's like, figure it out. No one, no one, no one has. <laughs> What is this sloth position? <laughs> the thing is this, no one has tried to eat my, like someone has tried to, you know, I'm grab it like this. tried to thumb me before. I don't, like. <laughs> oh, she's down there and up. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Like, someone has tried, tried to thumb me before, I'm like, no. Oh, thumb oh, me. Thumbs, <laughs> like, nah. please thumb me. We talking about, uh, look at ass. I was thumbed. Thumbs and people with asses. <laughs> It's a stretch. It's <laughs> like, you back, like, back, back when I was a little skinnier, you know. You don't want to catch no Back when it was easier accents, <laughs> she got gotcha. you. She yeah. thumbed you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I got some weight to me. But like back, <laughs> like no. And like and ever since then, it's been, I've been like, like, been like uh, 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 I'm good. No. Did you say no or did you, uh, did you just say no? I was like, it just. Bite your lip. It threw me off for a second. Cause like, I had this. It was probably just like a sound. He was like, I mean, uh. <laughs> you like it? I'm figuring that because, out. Because, 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 <laughs> not, I don't know. Not don't tell nobody. Not, Deeper. Not to get too deep in all the stuff. Like I'm into I'm a lot feeling of, a lot of I'm pressure. I'm into a lot of stuff. But that and one other thing is one other thing I'm scared of. Like I just. What else are you afraid of? Tell me. You don't like secrets. feet. Are you scared of feet? Yes. Yeah. That's hilarious because I actually fucking hate feet. Well, okay, I used to hate feet. I hate feet when it's not sexual. If I'm like on a set and someone has pretty feet, I'm like, yeah, let's all do like a foot thing. But in just and in life, absolutely like ew, feet are gross. Because most yeah. people's feet are gross. We're I think here. that's we it. Are here that's here. it. He loves feet. It's a, it's a I like feet sexy thing. feet. I like a nice, well taken care of foot. Okay, every very... foot guy says that though. You you do either like. I know like feet why. Or, you know. 
I like feet. It's very, it's from, have you seen my childhood? So here's the, here's, here's the deal when it comes to me. So, my, okay, go ahead. Here's the deal when it comes to me. Like, Why he me, hates feet. For me, it's like, it's more so the freaking nubs of a dang old toe. Like, like I like, if, it, if, you, if you're wearing a stocking, you're wearing a sock, I have no issue with your foot. Well, obviously. But if I see <laughs> your your credit all up nubs, it could be pre. You can have you can have the prettiest feet in the world. It's just like I don't like it. So like, so even a pretty foot, you don't like. like. I just he don't. rather you have hooves. Like <laughs> yes. Ew. yes. Listen, no. Did you hear? He said yeah. They like, like ah. Ew. <laughs> that would somebody, be nasty. Someone. So in my life. <laughs> In my life, Looking like someone, him from the Powerpuff Girls. Somebody has tried Hello. to put their feet like and rub it against, and I, I was happy. Then I went sad. You know, then I wow. went sad. So it's like a <laughs> damn. Say something like a nursery like, rhyme. She's like, yeah. And he was like, and then oh, I was oh. sad. His dick was like, nah. And then she was tired because it's literally a lower b- back workout. It's insane. It's like an ab workout giving a foot job. Yeah, and it's really hard. It don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I don't like, want nobody like, touching my dick with their feet. Though. Like, I, understand. I like how you look. <laughs> like, I understand. But what? Is your dick that clean? Let's be real. Neither are clean. Let's not mix different. <laughs> my, feet are, my feet are clean. I put on lotion, socks. That's where they are for the day. I put, where's my dick at? I put, it, I put on lotion. I don't know. And I where put is it your in my dick underwear, at? Which is a sock for my fart privates, just like your foot. <laughs> and it's there all day. Yeah, but. Until, uh, I pull, probably pull it out a few times. Just a show. Like, which you're right. You're kind of right, because I really. If you like a. a boys flip, aren't taught any kind of dick health. Like, make this make, this make sense. To be fair, neither are we. Your no hands right. are gross. As fuck. Yeah. Wash your hands after you touch your dick. Now wash your hands before you touch your dick, because guess what? The cleanest ever gonna be is probably after you get out of the shower. And before you're touching you, it every time. and before you touch our pussy. And you're very touchy. Yes. Yeah. That's yes, we're a not touch- huge thing. If you're we're gonna- not taught touching, washing our hands before we touch privates at all. Yeah. Not really. I agree. Not really. You kind of do have to figure that out, which is so stupid and like animal. Like, really, we were not taught that. <laughs> but I think I think it should just be common sense if you're if you're taught to wash your hands in any other situation. It's like, yeah. Yeah. oh, this before is before you. The thing is, like, a, I guess wash your hands before you eat. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They do teach us. Yeah. It's just we gotta yeah. get it. We gotta, get we gotta it. decode it yeah, later. You gotta get quick. <laughs> no, sex is more like food than than waste. I mean, yeah. What? I, mean, I, I agree because you're like. But we, then with like come back, I was like, <laughs> no, we're thinking about it like, wait. Uh. Can you wait to tactical? <laughs> wow. There's a man in the Victorian era that's like, I never had sex because urine came out of my penis. That's actually true. Oh God. Fuck. You get a point because. And like, then he was sad. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Because at like, a ripe old like, age of forty-two. Like we're, we're like we're 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 so you like full of forty-two. So like the thing is, like we're so used to, like as males, we run to the restroom, just whip it out, whatever, and pee whatever, and then just throw it back in there, and then we wash our hands. And some of y'all nasty folks that need to wash your hands after too, because I've seen videos of people say, "I don't wash my hands after I just do number one." Y'all, just I gotta give it all up to so many women, so many women. I don't know if some people have been into smells or whatever, but so forgiving, so forgiving. <laughs> about what's going on in a man's pants <laughs> at so many Man. different times. Because, <laughs> whew, it's been times where I know my friend got laid. We was in the same club. Uh, and I've been, and was like, and woo, you- mm-mm, this, this, this joker wasn't meant for anybody tonight. <laughs> but I'm sure my friend went and did their business. And I'm sure there's been times where I'm sure, like, we drunk, like, if we were sober, we smelled this joker. <laughs> and how did you get drunk? You were out, like, dancing, yeah, moving around? Dancing. Yeah, Both no. of us, funky, tangy. you like, why you taste so sharp? Because we've okay. been dancing in afters. Yeah. See, and that's why, and that's why people get mad at that video that Get in the out, shower. That went up a few years ago. And I said what I said. People got mad about me. What, what, what do you mean? What you say? The video that I said that I was going to hook up with somebody, and when they when she, when she pulled everything down, and I smelled it before anything got touched. See, that's and what you, sometimes people can't help that. That's why you got to 
Sometimes you gotta do positive manipulation. No, nope, you can help that. Yeah, it you can be like, be hey. That. But it was, it was, it was literally, think? so when I made the club, I was gonna do it one time and then never talk to it again. It was, was just. Wait, wait, what was the problem what? here? Sorry, what did you do that? I like, said her coochie stank. It was, oh, you told her that? No, 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 I didn't tell her. I didn't tell her. I did not, I did not. He didn't help her out. Like, the thing is, is like, she, uh, we, we made the club, whatever. Nice um, guy over and here. And then I said, <laughs> okay. Yo, yeah, coochie stank. Like, He's like, it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Then I said, uh, like, as a real quick, I, I was taking my friend, I took my friend Hollywood home, and then I came back to uh, to uh, her place, whatever, and like we went upstairs, and then like I'm up here, like, like I'm like, I know we just left the club, but I was like, I, I, I thought it was just this for a second, like you know, you know we were at the club, whatever, and she was heavy. Was it her house? Well, okay, that's the thing too. Was it like? B-O, or was it like P-H? It was P-H. Balance. Okay. You sure? Yeah, it was P-H, because as soon as, as, soon as, as soon as that dropped... And then that's the thing, too. We're not taught pussy health, either. Oh, it was, it's and so rough. Our, and our shit's way more of a thing. Like, yeah, our shit's so much... Because it's just, you know? A so, sensitive environment. Yeah, so, we're not taught boric acid when we're 15, and we should be. Yeah, so this and then people are like, don't you put your boric acid in your pussy? That's literally what it's for. That's what people will say, though. It's a supposition. No, I mean, I, I, I hear what <laughs> you you're saying. You don't swallow but it. But <laughs> there'll be a bunch of people that'll be like, don't do that. <laughs> I, d- just because a porn performer say do it, don't do it. That's not from porn. No. That's I'm, like that's like saying OnlyFans is a porn streets, site. You're dumb. Well, neither. the streets are dumb. Yeah. No one... The, uh, well, actually, I might be dumb. There could be a story where, like, the owner made the, that for porn stars. I'm, pr- like, 90% sure, though, that ha- it doesn't have anything to do with porn. We just like, use it. Pro, uh, 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 only thing can be seen as a pro am site. It's literally, it's just a site to sell content, yeah, period. Pro, pro, we made it. pro am So that's why it can be, be a pro am site. It's like Patreon. It's like any subscription site. It's just we blew it up with porn because yeah, our agree. generation and the pandemic. I agree. Yeah. I'm just like, that's why I say like it's really. But I like that they're embracing it now, and they're kind of okay with it. For the moment. Yeah. Well, you gotta go where the money is. Yeah. So, but you know they are. <laughs> exactly. Right. They, they have to. <laughs> yeah. They're like fine. Any, any fine. Fine. Like, okay. We you okay that's with why, y'all? That's why also you got like Fansly and you have yeah. uh, the other ones like that, and people still you know, people still sell their dudes on. Uh, on uh, Patreon and stuff like that. Well, and many vids was OnlyFans before OnlyFans. That's where every cam girl sold her stuff is many vids. So that's you know. Yeah. I would hate to be all those. Up. Well, I mean, yeah, this is business, it's a competitive marketplace. But well, I would uh, hate to be people... some of those. Like I was here before OnlyFans, and then OnlyFans just said, Psh. I guess. It's like I, I don't think they're mad because song. a lot of those people that skyrocket aren't mm-hmm. necessarily. There's only a few that are staying. That's true. Which is, I think, why it's. I'm not going to say easy, but you don't have to be making like a million dollars a month to be like top 5% because not a lot of these people are really hustling on there. I saw that one time. Somebody was like, it's really not like, yeah, that's why, that's why real like money makers are like top zero, zero, zero. something. It's not like, so yeah. Top zero, 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 four. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. So, yeah. It also just like depends on what, what you put up because a lot of people... Business is business. A lot of people have their thing for free, but then they sell it all in um, the DMs. Yeah, it goes down to the DMs. Cause it's like you, you want to get my workout videos. <laughs> Cause they can do you can do little teachers like oh these are this these are my breasts. You know, or, <laughs> these are my breasts. <laughs> I'm not a bot. <laughs> you want to see this a five minute video? If you, you want to see me move my move, move my uh, hand to see my breasts? Right. DM, DM to move the hand, DM, or yeah. DM, and it'd be like, like, eleven dollars for like, just her like spreading her fingers just a little bit, so you can see the areola, but you can't see everything. Else. That's <laughs> that's what won't last, I think. I think that's the, and that's what kind of happened. I think like the people who didn't get into it because they really wanted to be a part of the adult industry, they just saw it as like a money grab, and they didn't really offer but then, anything. But then, but then so. they, it's like, a lot of work that the, goes into the, it. The it's, though, it's, like, it's quite the money grab. There's a lot of work for but, a yeah. side hustle. 
it's kind of like the whole like nepotism baby thing. It's like you have to put work in no matter what. You can't just yeah. be handed something and do it. it. That's like, I mean, uh, they kind of say it's a curse, but that's why I like lottery winners. If you get handed all this money, you're not going to be successful necessarily. You have to know how to do it. Like I'm still learning the business. I'm good at the talent part, but a business is business is business at the end of the day. And when you understand that, you can kind of do whatever you want. So I'm still I'm still learning the business side. So speaking of that, True. what is your long term? What is your long term goal? Um, you know what? I am still trying to figure out what kind of like company I want to ma- or like brand I want to build because I'm trying to figure out because this is the thing. I think people get into porn to get out of porn. I love what I do. So I want to do some form of what I'm doing forever. I don't want to stop. I love making content. And again, MILFs? Fuck yeah. I have to have a kid to do that, right? (laughs) So yeah, I I want to be doing this like forever in some way. Um, But I would just like to start kind of making myself my brand and just sort of make myself into other like, just get into other avenues of work where I can sort of build myself into something that's more than just porn and maybe start building some sort of product around that that could have some longevity that's, like, bigger than just, like, me. You know, like, when I'm older, you know, if something fucking happens, like, health-wise, I don't know, you never know. If I break my leg and can't be working, like, you know, you got to find something, again, with the whole business thing. So I'm still learning all of that. But sorry, you me think about something. Yeah, I, yeah. But it really just... Um, Short term, long term, I would love to, and I know it's all politics and a lot of people in the industry will probably laugh at this because I know it's probably silly or whatever, but I would love to win an award. I would. Like, that would be incredible. I Just watching the award show and not even knowing anyone or anything, but I, like, cried for some people. Just their speeches were so, like, I don't know. There's just something about people being so proud of this industry and, like... Were you at ABN's this year? I was. <laughs> what we ran out of video? No, we ran out of battery. Oh <laughs> shit! Oh shit! Yeah, I mean, it's something about people who do want to be recognized by their peers and their yeah and stuff. It's stuff that it feels good. It does. I think, I think you know, anybody who's not who's nominated or not nominated or not winning awards is gonna be like, it's all fucking political. But if you win, you'll be like, yeah, it's political, but I won an award. Right, and it just it just feels I, good. I played and, the right I politics at least. Yeah, and again, just got, getting, I think it's getting up to be on that stage, you'd be like, thank you, I love this, and I love you guys. Like, that's something special, because again, I think you don't always know how people feel about their industry, and I would love to get up there and thank everyone for everything. So, are you going to go to the XRCO? No idea what that is, not very tapped in. <laughs> the XRCO Awards is next month. Okay. It's going to be uh, on the 11th of uh, May. Okay. So usually I'm a photographer there. This will be the first one that I'm not going to be at. It is uh, one that only people in the industry can go to. Okay. So that's, that's what it is. And so all you, literally all you got to do is make sure someone knows who you are and just show up. See, that's the problem. I I need to make some more friends in the industry because going alone is really nerve-wracking. Mostly because I I don't go to events like just in general, so I already don't know like what to do. And then especially for this kind of stuff, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. (laughs) I if literally this this would be the first year since 2015 that I'm missing because I have a something else I have to do the same day that I couldn't that I cannot get out of. Sucks. So, but it'd be the first one I missed, but. You can go to the Urban X Awards. I'm mm. def- like, um, f- like everybody out there knows that the Urban X Awards is one of the awards that I do work with. So I work on the um, to help put it together. So that's one you don't want to miss because you know Urban X. You know, Hell yeah. meet a lot of people. You know, Urban whatever. And I can't say that we have a big festival coming up. It's going to be a lingerie party, and then it's the award show. So it's going to be yeah. It's a three day event and. Yeah. Knowing everything that I know that I can't say right now, but I can say next week, it sucks. Uh, but what we got planned is going to be great. And, wow. and, the, wow. and, the, and, the, and the, like, I can't, I can't yeah. say this. I can't say this. The festival is being hosted by uh, Kiki Clout and King Nazir. I don't know if you know either one of them. I don't. I'm horrible. But, but like, <laughs> wonderful. So, so yeah. So like, <laughs> I recommend hitting up the XRC award, whatever. But. I wish you the best of luck because I, I can see, like, you know, you can be great and 
meet all these people, you know, be, and be nominated next year, and you know, start Fingers wins, start start knocking out those awards. I'm like, hey, be like, I didn't have any last year. Now I have yeah. seven. Now I have seven. Thank you guys. Thank <laughs> you. As far as going to the things with the events with people, though, I'm gonna. This is gonna sound real. Mm, uh, nah, who cares? Uh, what I would say before you go to any industry events. Find someone that you like that you might want to go to an event with and then go to a regular bar with them first. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You know what? Actually, you know what? I'm going to shout out T Real right now. He was my first cast, first ever seen. And he took me in like a lost little bird at AVN because I didn't know anyone. And my girl was, she didn't make it to the award show. So I was just like walking around super awkward. Like, it's like, let me introduce you to people. I'm like, thank you. I'm in here. So, yeah. He fucking helped me out. So it helps Shout knowing T-Real. a few I people, say this. but yeah. Like, T-Real, T-Real is a great man, babe. Um, when I first started meeting <laughs> The way people, he said that. No, 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 yeah. no, no. I man. like you, T-Real. I really do. <laughs> no, no. T-Real is a great human being. Like, when I first started, you know, being in the street, like, he, I met a lot of people through him. And I used to, I used to say, like, when he, when Ideal was at his peak, I used to say, yeah, hit up T-Real. Hit up T. And he came, he came on our podcast and gave a little, you know, what to do. Oh, yeah, what when, not to do. Yeah. yeah, what not to do in the industry. Like, literally, if you, if you like, uh, everybody, if you ever ask anybody in the freaking industry, how do I get in porn? Go listen to that episode. Oh. And it's, it is a blueprint. My yeah, God. bros. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he tells you. Oh, yeah. guys, yeah, yeah. that is, he, like, the freest, gold. the best free advice you could get. Yeah. That's, like, all of been since 04. <laughs> and this was, and he recorded this. How do you guys get in the? How do? How does anyone? Because I was really lucky, and I knew someone who like just sent me Sandra's number, and I was like, "Okay, I'm how gonna does say this. anyone I think do there's that?" There's several ways. There's several ways. Sometimes it's introductions. If you if you're floating around. But yeah, no. If you don't know anyone, you're just like, I want to. Oh, just female. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you the crazy story. Like a girl, even because a guy, I feel like that's okay. harder. But even a girl, how would you? Oh, like, because we've had people that said they emailed a company and they flew them out, like the next week. I've heard that a lot, but I'm like, there. Do they? They just emailed them like, I want to be on. So I'm gonna say this. They have an email. Like, like, I yeah, they do on the website. <laughs> but like, I know. Like, I, 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 know, I, know, I haven't that. looked through. Yeah, I'm I just like, got I'm me in like, the, like, on the roster. Yeah, like, I just I checked know, that I'm up. <laughs> I know how I got into the circles was because like one of my first moved here, I was working this with Playboy, and then Swine was like, "Hey, raw." That's my goal. Swine was like, "Raw, go to uh, go to porn star karaoke, and then ask for blah blah." And literally, that's how I started meeting people in the industry. And then a week later, someone was like, hey, do you want to be an extra in this? And I'm like, yeah, can I bring my friend? Yeah, bring him. And you could bring a friend. I bought a, like, it's an extra. It's just extra. Still, on set, and, I'm surprised. Yeah, and then, no, it was, it was like, a, it was just the. It was like an extra it was scene. Just, it was the it extra was the, scene, uh, the cutaway. <clears throat> the dance scenes. It was what was it? Uh, Jersey Shore. Uh, Jersey or Triple X? Tri- yeah, Jersey Shore. Because <laughs> I've been un extra on set. I can't imagine any set would like just play being. It was. On oh no, they weren't having any sex. It, it was, was just like an in between uh, dance. It was just literally oh, okay. like yeah, cool. like, like, it was, it was like 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 the it was like a it was a full movie. Yeah. But it was the cutaway scene. Gotcha, gotcha, in the gotcha, movie. gotcha. Yeah. Like we're in the club and then we nice. take these. Yeah, it was like and then we were just dancing then. The entire time and good pizza. It was like they, they fed us nicely. Yes. And I always laugh about it because like I can I could the person I was dancing with I could feel because they were grinding. I'm like, oh this person's not wearing any underwear and they're wearing a really really short skirt and <laughs> I haven't had sex in a while. This is this isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Wow. Mm. But it was yeah, right down good the times. <laughs> yeah, it was literally right down the <laughs> That's <laughs> and, and then I did a, a one more extra stuff. Then I got behind the camera. Then I started working working with the porn awards, and that's how I got into porn. I feel like, yeah, I feel like the easiest way is just knowing people or something. No, honestly, honestly, it is. honestly probably with if, any industry. If you, it's it was, it's, it's it. some people in the industry that hit me up and ask me. I tell them to just either just message the agency or like message them first, and then ask if you could send their your picture, or whatever. And then go from there. You know, some people I say, if you're like, this is back when PSK was hype. You say, you come to PSK, I introduce you to some people who are there. You know, and then you, you can, like, you know, take your own ride and go. Yeah. 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 
Uh, some of those were still my friends, some of them aren't. So you just with it. <laughs> yeah, porn is a interesting how when you hear people's stories how they got into it. It's it's some people are like, yeah, hey, I just started camming. Some people are like, I had a boyfriend, I had a girlfriend. Some people are yeah. like, I was so broken, desperate. Uh, yeah, I want. I kind of want to know how everyone started. I'm, I'm curious how like everyone was big. I want to know their story. Or I know. Like I was fucking everybody for free. Well, know, we all were. I know. <laughs> at some and, point. I mean, I was fucking a lot of people and <laughs> getting it on video for free, nine to nine. Anyone that's not a porn star is fucking for free. That's true. Oh, or a, anyway, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, but you know, any yeah. like regular yeah. person is fucking for free. For free. <laughs> yeah. Well, well you're yeah, fucking for fun. Yeah. Is it free? It's still it's free. It's so be fun. Mm. Free and fun can free be together. Free and fun. That's the best. Wait, no. Paid no, and fun no, is I don't better. know. Paid is fun. Paid, Paid and fun, fun that's better. hello. Paid and fun. Porn. I was like, wait, I said that. <laughs> I was thinking about the cost. Yeah. I was thinking about the yeah. cost to myself. Fun and fun. Oh, and then that's the key thing. If you get into it for the right reason, you're gonna be happy. With again, anything. That's I would true. say I would say right. Like, the only the only thing that I feel is a detriment, but it's necessary in everybody in the industry to keep up with it and not fake it as a test. But that keeps getting what, higher. What? Wait, wait, I'm, wait, I'm, I'm confused. Much, much, the way you worded that, that how much sound test, right together. How much the test is costing more and more and more? It's getting headache. But you should make sure you stick up on it and everything. I, I, I get, get that. that. Wait, the testing? I'm confused. The cost. The cost. Like, the, the cost of it? Of the... Of the Test. Of like a test of a of a, a, the, a the, test, how the, testing is going. It keeps getting TTS higher. and oh. yeah, it keeps getting higher. I now I say, I know, I say that that's annoying, but don't take it. Make sure you stay up on it. And they get tested every two weeks, so you don't just jump into it not knowing that this is something that you have to do, and you got to make sure you do it because we got to keep everybody safe. It costs money to make money. You got to have things to wear. You got to right, fucking well. I do my own nails because I don't. I've never I I I used to bite my nails a lot I'm still learning to not so I'm just getting past that but most girls you know you got to get your nails done your hair done all the shit you got to have wardrobe you got to have enough that you're not going to like repeat a bunch of outfits you got to keep buying stuff girls do like little switch party things which is nice so you can like switch your wardrobe out but yeah it's a lot and yeah testing's a shitload of money it's far if you don't live in the valley like there's a lot but it's all about business if you if you know how to make it work she's right I just thought about something Dana White said but I can't repeat it uh, Why not? <laughs> no, I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> it's don't tease weird. me. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it'll be. Uh, it, it was something he was talking about. John Jones. He was like, "Hey, you gotta work. Cocaine costs a lot of money. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta Fuck. keep working. I mean, can't argue. With that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever your vice is, it's probably yeah, expensive. It's expensive. <laughs> I think uh, with the the test going up higher. <laughs> It's just kind of like, look at society. So look at society. Look at inflation. How yeah, much inflation, was it before? And then it's kind of like cutting off. You know, I, as much I'm not trying to say anything about people who, who can afford a cheaper test and can't afford a, a more expensive one. Yeah. But it's that whole idea of like exclusive gym, and then it kind of becomes this thing of like, okay, it kind of goes into a funnel of like. These are the people who can afford to actually stay in this industry and be in this industry to a certain degree. I want that's a really good point, but I wonder if it is that because it's not so much like because a special gym is like you still have the option to go to another one. We don't have the option to go to a free clinic and get these tests. This well, is exclusive because it's recognized like by you have, like you have, pass or however you it works. Have, you, have, works you, have, but you have three, but I well, think it's exclusive because of the, the industry. In LA, you have you have three. Maybe testing, I'm... but you have one that is the most trusted right now. I'll say that before I go further. And okay. like, huh? Is it the new one or the? People are trusting um, Clear right now more than the oh, other yeah. two. It's just marketing. And um, <laughs> yeah. like, I personally, I've not been to Clear. I've been to TTS and I've been to CET. You know, I prefer CET over TTS personally. And like, they're the most expensive, I think, right? 
They're like a little bit more. They're more expensive. Well, they're more expensive. It's also a little bit But it also, dep- it also depends on how fast you want your test, mm-hmm. if you need it over the weekend. And TTS just started doing same day, so. Well, and they, and only, they usually only do that for. That's interesting. For my they're all competing now. They're all competing. Because Clear kind of has weird. so much good marketing and has made it so cute. They, they offer so many in. little but things. And as many it was like that rumbling. They're like, here's our little gifts. Come in. <laughs> also, they offer like a cheaper, I, I think it's cheaper if you want to like pay for the whole month of tests yeah. or two months or whatever. Yeah. So there's all these little things. I think it's yeah, like clear really me, came me, in. And a, I would just me, like to I'm not, I'm not a performer, yeah. but I do things with some performers or be in the situation that I might do things with some Do you now? <laughs> I get back to that. Not on camera. <laughs> that's a, that's hey, a, I know you do, man. Hey. That's an off camera conversation. But, uh, but yeah, so the only thing I feel feel weird about is one new part of the test I might have to get used to. But yeah, not that bad. Oh, since yeah. he had no the thumbs in his booty, he <laughs> weird about the swab. That was the it ain't that. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not bad at all. It's like, well, it's just, you know, it's I think it's messed up that there's such a easy way to have it. Like, there's so many false positives. Yeah. Which is yeah. messed up because I'm like, how? My thing is always like, if we're building, if we know how to build rocket ships, why is this happening? That's yeah, always my why, thing. You know what why, I mean? Why can't like, we control this shit in our genitals? Like, and I know people like, are testing. Yeah, we can, so, we can go to the moon, know, but we can't. And I know people have issue with the one thing they don't make sure somebody for, not burn it. But it's so common. So. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't. Yeah. Yep. I mean. Uh, I, yeah, it's all marketing because yeah, like Clear came in when everybody was like, "Oh shit, we get all these positives and uh, we got yeah, get swabs." So Clear was like, "Hey, we're we're the new guys in town yeah. and had such great marketing." And then all this stuff of not being what is the uh, not being pass certified, it's a lot, uh, and it sounds kind of it's weird because like it's like now you guys are competing. I know this is for profit, but how much of it is going to be like? Are y'all speeding things up to satisfy people like to but compete? They, they and also will that, that they will endanger report. tests? Like, will that make it like, will you, no, will you be moving faster? Do or, I don't know, though. But Or if you're not moving, if you're, why are you moving so fast now? You, you could have gave us the same taste test a while that's, ago. That's how I always think. Because at the end of the day, I think our world can always work better. And we don't for some reason. There's always some money reason to make things slower than they need to be. I understand why they didn't do the same testing here. Test bots. For, that's for, what they replaced the people. Because they used to send it to Florida, or they yeah, they changed it. They used to send it to Florida, and they did all the testing in Florida. So now There's because like a lab here or something. I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't, I don't like, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know they. I didn't know they were doing same same day testing. Now yeah, they here. just started that. But uh, before they were just sending everything to Florida, and then That's Florida was doing all the tests because some people have different testings that they need to do. That's true. And um, and that's another reason why I take CET. And then it's just okay, just to know everything, you know. Yeah. Just <clears throat> scare everybody to say. I mean, I feel like the I haven't been to Clear, but I've been to CET. Clear, and like, TTS and I don't know if Clear the customer has services. I don't know if Clear has changed anything, but I call I did uh, mess with them a few months ago, and they were only taking people who were active performers, and not people who were, you know, people who were uh, set people. Oh, well, yeah. Why would you need... I mean, because... I, testing if you're just on set. You need it, like, for some people, well, like, they, they recommend you're a some, camera guy? I mean, I guess, yeah. bro... Uh, and it's not like COVID, because COVID testing hasn't been a thing in a while, but, like, you need an STD test to be a camera guy? Some, they, they you're technically a f- performer. I think it sounds like you're going to be a performer if you're needing to get an yeah, STD test as the cameraman. Because yeah. yeah. we don't need to see any producer well, yeah. camera guy Just gun because test. you can well, see yourself the, a just cameraman. The talent. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. So, like, I was going to be in a situation where... So you was going to get your dick I was going to be, in, not on camera, just, you know, in general. Huh? In general, with the porn performance. Were you going to have sex with them in gonna, any kind of way? We're going to be exchanges of bodily fluids. Oh. Right, so yeah. oral, so yes, you still something. need to have those. Yeah, yeah, and that was... So you are performing. But it's not on camera, though. So I'm not but, Oh, but you're dealing with a performer, so... Yeah. In the interest of safety... Yes. Oh, okay. So why do you just say I'm performing with performer, which is having sex? Maybe it's not performative. Yeah, it's not. It's not. So it's not, it's not you got caught up camera. in semantics. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, and then they said that like, okay, so are you going to see you So it's just that. They're gonna take your money, bro. Clear said no when I when I asked him about Because you said I'm not a performer. I'm a no, set no. person. They're like, why? Why? That, it seems like why don't you just go? No, but if you if you go if you go on the CET thingy or you go on the TTS thingy, they have a thing like on the on their app. It literally says set people, whatever we're talking like um, camera people, uh, director, and it's literally on there. I mean that makes sense because yeah, there's some camera guys they, that will do yeah. POV stuff like. The but also through the TTS system, like people, you can have different people able to see your test through the system. Yeah. So, like you would want to have those different yeah. ratings of official business. So. Just say you 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 perform it with a performer next time. I think that'd be okay, Rockstar. I don't think it'll be earth shattering. <laughs> okay, I mean, I've been to a couple of those places and. I wouldn't count myself a performer sometimes. Those tests have expired fully. I mean, what has it? Huh? Well, she. Let's we'll <laughs> see. I still got a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think my last one expired like a few weeks ago. Anyway, different story. Anyway. Anyway, yes. um, we have hit our time, though. Yeah, that was really quick. That was easy. <laughs> you are fantastic. I uh, could talk forever, honestly. <laughs> yeah, like. This was really fun, and I appreciate you um, giving us your time. Thank was you. it though? No, I'm joking. It was wow, great. it was great. It was great. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Jab. Uh, that was more about you, but it's fine. We was chopping it. Yeah, up. It, was, it was great. <laughs> no, I'm so glad you guys reached out to me. I'm. I feel very honored because I'm still new and still trying to get out there. So I appreciate well, it. I, I appreciate like you know you're still new. You're gonna be out there and. Hopefully everybody has already been saying your name, and I think I've seen your name before. Rome said because I know we were yes. me and uh, Chris Cock were just scrolling through one on one one day, and you know just talking about people on there, not one on but OC one day, and just we were going through each site, but I'm like, oh, blah 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 blah. Wow. Yes. Um, Y'all are just sitting there like. What you know about her? No, <laughs> let, let, no. let me tell you, dog. Let me no. tell you about one, her. It was, See her? It was, it, was, it, was, it was one I was looking I, was I looking, know about all these girls. I was, looking, like, I, was, I, was, I was looking for people who we didn't have one, whatever. But I was like, he was also looking for people to uh, to do some stuff with on some set, whatever. And I don't know who we ended up messaging, whatever. But that's what we were just going through, just talking about new people. Cause you know it's after a while, like you know, you just get so saturated with seeing the same three people. So, same. I, I like pornography. <laughs> I do. You, I just haven't been. Do you? I just haven't been watching it as much. Mm-hmm. So I don't really. I don't really be knowing some of the new people. Sometimes. See, here's the deal with me. It's like because I do what I do. I know. It's like, okay, I I, know, I meet so many people and I become friends with them, and it's like, oh, you the homie. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. I meet somebody. I'm like, ah, okay. I might look at your videos. I got a couple good wanks, and then I'm like, eh. you know what's funny? I feel like you got dreams and aspirations. The <laughs> fantasy's yeah, broken. You're human now. I can't. You're human. You're human now. You're like, not flesh. Me, oh me, no! Me, me, and you yeah. talked about. Uh, I know your favorite color. Me and you talked too much. Me, me and you talked about. Me and you talked about Eddie my wife drinking you hoos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't say this. This to go back a little bit. I'm Tell us, because I wanted to say this earlier um, when you were saying it. You were talking about you could get injured. Um, you know, you don't know what happened, and I thought about um, Adrian Chess. I was just gonna say. And, I remember looking at yeah. your links, and you have a Twitch account. I do. I don't really you know used it. Okay. how you to, used yeah. It. But I have it, because I'm like, I know Uh-oh. I should. I just, why, what? No, because like, Rockstar okay. are going to be like, you you want to know how? Let me put you on another time. I don't know how to game or anything. No, I literally, I literally just helped two of my friends. <laughs> yeah, even or I build Legos. I don't do that. Like, I don't do anything. I literally just so helped two of my friends get to affiliate. They're affiliate. Wait, now. wait, Samantha's a f- affiliate? Well, I know. Samantha's I, an affiliate? I specifically signed up for Twitch because it's the quickest one to do. You only have to stream like s- 
I don't know. It's like the uh, easiest one as far as like is, uh, YouTube. 20, you have to build so many more subscribers. Uh, I gotta like, do raw easy. star. I need, I need twenty money. hours. You need three concurrent. Um, you need twenty hours. Yeah, only twenty over, hours over, over a month. Over thirty days. That's a, you not need, a lot. You need three c- concurrent viewers. Exactly. One day. You need three three concurrent viewers, and you need to have fifty followers. Yeah, 50 followers. Oh. I already have. Like, it's so, it's really and, easy on Twitch. But then, of course, anything consi- and, like, consistency. For you, for you, all you got to do is put out there and say fitness, whatever, and you just put it out there and just tell everybody probably. And, like, for for them, like, uh, I helped my friend, Minnie Scarlett. She already has uh, 43 subscribers. She just got, became an affiliate earlier this month, like, like the third or something like that. It's just consistency. I need to um, get back into camming for the same reason. It's just I need to set a schedule and really get into it. Because with everything, getting into more stuff like outside of this and that schedule being so right, ra- you know, every day I'm like switching shit. I've been like, mm-hmm. okay, we do this thing. You know what I mean? So that makes it kind of hard to be like, okay, let me do it. Like, so. But honestly, I know. I need you to, can do I need just to chatting. That's what Samantha does. Yeah, she's, she just does makeup just and be like, I'm just going out makeup. here tonight. She just does makeup, and when it okay. comes to Minnie Scarlet, she plays um, Emily is Weird. That's all she plays. She talks about that. Emily is Weird is a game? I'm sorry, Emily is online. Emily is online. And it's a game. <laughs> That's a game? Like, am I saying a sentence? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know that either. Emily, 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 Emily is Weird. Like, what? Emily, Emily is online. That's all it is. Okay. And it's like, it's, it's a ba- game based on, like, people using AIM. In the two thousand, like two thousand and two. Oh, fuck yeah! That's all it is. It's just you're just <laughs> messaging someone on AIM. You're trying to make them like you. That's and, hilarious. Yeah, I wanted to do it's, that. It's, it's, and it's three. And it's three parts. It's like That's one, so two. Funny it's like one, two, game. and three. So one is like oh two. POV. It's two thousand oh, fucking. The number two is like and oh and four. On and like oh, s- the, the number three I think is like oh eight when everybody got on Facebook. So it's like oh, Facebook Messenger. So yeah, it's that's all it is. That's so funny. And she just sits back and plays that. And what does she play it on though? She uses a Mac though. Oh. Oh. I thought you needed a whole like system to actually like game and shit. No, but I, again, I don't want to. Uh, I sound like, like such I don't a, want a game. I don't. I just want to be on Twitch. No, that's I want. I want to do. That's what Samantha does. I'm not a. I'm not a gamer. I don't it's know. okay. You don't have to play games. I get tired. I need like, something that I can do for longer because I. I'm gonna tell you this. Like my friend. You can give bad advice, or Samantha, maybe you have good Samantha, advice. Samantha, Samantha, I like bad advice. Friend, toxic advice. That's <laughs> way more fun. Samantha Lexi, um, what's her name? Like she just literally gets up there and just does her makeup. Mm-hmm. My friend, um, Kitty Lee, she gets on there and all she does is just talk. And write people's names on boards. That's it. You know what's funny? Wow. I got I had someone ask me, and I haven't been asked this since camming, how much to write your name, my name on your body, and I'm like, oh yeah, I miss camming. <laughs> um, yeah, but she, yeah, she, I mean, just she random does, shit she like does, that. She does that too. She just does, you just can't get naked. See, that's where, this is like my third account with me just trying to make an account because a few times I streamed, I didn't know the rules, and they were like, do this, trying to like troll me, and I'm like, I'm a cam girl, I'll do it, and then I'm like, oh, I'm banned. <laughs> <laughs> can't, they're can't. like, no, not even. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit. They're like, do this, watch, you're gonna like, she about to get banned, watch. And gonna, like, uh, literally. Like, my friend, my totally friend Jasmine right. T, like, when she first started, I just tell everybody, like, yeah, go, go to her ceiling fans thingy and, you know, buy a fan from there, you know, just... Saying, if you want to see her naked, go to her. Yeah, thing. yeah. And that's really, I just, like, I put my links there, and then I'm like, okay, well, now what do I actually fucking do? Because it's hard with, like, the just chatting thing. I mean, yeah, yeah, they're chatting bad. But, yeah, before you have anyone in there, like, what am I saying? You know? Like, I need someone to bounce off of, or else what the fuck do I talk to? I'm not someone who's well, like, let's chat about the economic, fu-. like, you well, know what I mean? Like, I, I don't gonna, have, like, an event I want to, like, talk you, <laughs> you know what I, mean? I need to I'm do pissed. That. I'm going to vent. Like, I don't, I don't like doing that shit. Let me tell you what's you wrong have, with women. If no. Have, that's where you get the real money. Oh, that would be fun to like <laughs> cringe on like red pillars. Oh, you, you could do that. That'd literally, be really fun. Literally, if you have like any one of your fans jump in there, they'll they, they'll see the tweet. And be like, Rockstar oh. will pop it off. I mean, like I literally <laughs> help Mimi do it. And I just put it up there, like, hey, help my friend. Uh, this one, like, help her get affiliate. And two of my friends rated her, and I think she ended up having like 20 viewers that night, whatever. And people start like people finally kept coming back. So that's all it is. It's just yeah. getting anybody to say, "Hey, I'm going to check you out for a little bit," mm-hmm. even if you're just sitting there just talking. Yeah. Yeah, just I got all the answers. 
to you. No, I mean like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, do ask like, me a question. Like, I'll tell you like, so like, shit like your, 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 niche, your the niche, meaning to life. <laughs> your niche is fitness, you know. What meaning? What do you want it to mean? Fuck you. <laughs> 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 That's the meaning to life. Yeah. Just fuck. <laughs> fuck Kinda. and then we die. Look, make more <laughs> and then die. Amen. I mean, that's <laughs> that's that's what goes on, you know. And I feel like, nah, that sounds weird what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. I feel like maybe don't we don't want to realize that uh, maybe our population is a bit out of control. Oh, yeah. Everyone and should stop having kids and get more stray dogs That maybe and cats. nature has uh, found quite a few ways for us to not have so many children. I feel like Nature. there's a lot of people that don't want to have children and a lot of people that can't have children. I hope and I can't I feel have like children. <laughs> I'm praying. As we've seen more and more people have less children, as we have more and more people, maybe nature is saying, hey, maybe y'all need to slow down a little bit. We do. We're suffocating I mean, nature. They're, make, they're trying to make it illegal to uh, do anything, so. If anything, we're the one who should have like the one child law, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I don't, not, li- not seriously, I but don't like, know, if we really think about it, our whole world needs that. And I, <laughs> like, I, we need to stop. Not, not to get too deep, well, what, what number are you? See, toxic advice. What, I'm ready. What, 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 I'm what, ready. What, what, what number are you? <laughs> say, uh, what, ask indigenous co- uh, populations. If you're I'm like, just marry your what cousin. cousin. <laughs> what, what number are you? In, we in, want uh, people to be like, stupid. In your, in your birth, are you, what number are you? What, I'm an only child. Oh, well, see, that's, you can say that. Well, there you go. I'm the third. And I'm, I was the only kid in my family, and I'm having, like, my first cousin soon. So oh. I only adults. That sounds like one of my friends. Like someone like you the youngest of, like, seven. Damn. I'm the youngest. Damn. Like, the, let's see. It's, I, I mean, can see I'm that the, now. it's all right. I can see I'm that I'm just going to find out that your parents kind of care about you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe <laughs> you got to be, like, tickle their fans, and you might just be like, hey. I don't know. Oh. I'm the youngest of three, but I am. It's my, a lot of love you have to spread around, my, and people have finite amounts I'm of love. I'm my grandparents' seventeenth grandchild, but I'm, wow. the, I'm my mom's third and my dad's only. Wow, seventeenth. I'm the seventeenth grandchild. I'm my has, dad's fifth yeah, boy. Yeah, she has way over fifty grandkids, but I'm number seventeen. Yeah, Ooh, I have a, a huge, I have a huge, like, and that's just one line. I was scared to date in Indiana. So. I don't know my dad's side because I've never grown up with them. Oh. But I know he doesn't. <laughs> Actually, what's funny is I technically have a half sister out there, but from the dad's side, so it's like no. so yeah. far. But technically, she's out there, which is interesting. But yeah, I, I didn't grow up with any kids, so I'm like, Oof. fuck them kids. <laughs> I don't get them. I don't want them. I was the youngest, <laughs> and then I had a nephew, so I had like six. <laughs> You had all the kids for for me. You had all the ones that I was supposed to. <laughs> like God was like, like here. <laughs> my my sister. My, my sister was about to turn nine when I was born. So what she did was, when I turned nine, she had a kid. <laughs> oh my God! And I always mess with like. I said, so, she just like that timeline. I said, I said, so she likes like, that number. Just, I said, you just didn't want me to uh, enjoy enjoy my ninth birthday like I, like I messed up yours. So you had. <laughs> I think she was yeah. just trying to. I think she was trying to time it so that the, the kids could take care of the kids a little bit. Well, I, 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 spoil, I spoil my niece to death. She's my, my niece is old now, but I still spoil her and like she still expects it. And it's I can't like, wait for my friends. My best friends are like ready to be moms now, and they're one of the few people that like honestly should be moms like soon. Like they could totally do it, and I'm excited to be that like. Really? Toxic Andy. Yes. Like, if they were, because they're just in the place where they're like, if I had the money to, like, know that I wouldn't have to work, then I would. So, like, emotionally, they are ready. It's just that. You know what I mean? Which is for a lot of people. It's it's money. Yeah. Money's the biggest monster. Parasites do cost a lot. <laughs> they do. They suck you dry. Mm-hmm. I love you so much. I was so beautiful before you came. Wither away. I (laughs) wonder where your life was. All I worry about is you. I want. I don't care about myself. I want to leave a part of me here before I die, but 
Really me too, but I never think of that as being a child. I think of it being as literally another part of me. Well, that is a part of you. But you know what I mean? Like, that's the kind of business thing. Like, flesh of my flesh. My porn will be what I leave behind. I'm fine buying totally into the God okay. delusion. That's I, what I want to be. I have, I have a little a, God on earth, just like every parent. I have a serious question for both of you all. Because that's what parents don't realize they are. I'm, all right, guys. I have a serious question for both of y'all for what you just said. <laughs> How do you feel about watching porn of someone who you know is no longer alive? Is no longer alive? Post you? Wait, 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 wait. You mean like, oh. oh I mean, if, sh if they were. Like a dead performer. I mean, that's fine. That's a weird question. Why would that be a problem? Because we do that with everything else. Do you? Do you? <laughs> yeah, artists you are watch, bigger when they're dead or whatever, right? Like, you, uh, you know what? Music is an interesting thing. Music and but art, do you watch, all of it. Do you watch mu movies with dead people? We all do. What are you talking about? Yeah. I mean, Fast do you think about That's it? the only way I can think of because I'm so no, bad I, mean, I, just, I just meant like doing... Like, we we like, do that with literally every entertainment. Any the, you I haven't are, watched any of the yeah. old Fast Also, brands and people are dead. Like, what do you mean, of course? And I mean, I just mean, you know... Here's I mean, the thing. I, mean, I could see... I mean, masturbating and jacking off to someone, you know... <laughs> I could see like, like, they die. It's like, it's like, oh... But again, that's the same with this, every... This person was live in the 70s. To me, that's not weird. And they died in 2000. Five. I think it's a little different. No, no, no. Because they did... It's literally like watching... What's wrong, I think, is when they use someone's likely, like when they did the fuck, what's a Star Wars Princess Leia? What's her name? Oh, you mean if they deep fake a dead porn star? That's when I think like the moral thing. But if you were a porn star, it's the same way if you were an actor, if you were any kind of artist, your shit lives on. That's not like a. If anything, that's like a good thing. I, I understand the porn's like a little weird, but you know what I mean. Like I think the only, I feel Definitely. like what what you're getting at that would be wrong. I think that's more placed into like when you weren't. Or maybe if you, Are you hated saying, does porn. Does it feel wrong or does it feel weird? Or like, if it's, it is it weird. wrong to them? Does it feel thing? weird? Does it feel weird? I have a problem watching Brandon Lee movies. Then <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I was like, man, you died so tragically. I, I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it's like. It's but like, why? Because it's that, that was their passion, did. and that's what they did. I feel like. I know. So. But I guess I feel a little sad that I'll never see them again. And anything. New. I feel like if maybe they hated porn, like okay, if Lana Rhodes. Because she doesn't oh, yeah. like her I industry. Never I feel like it's, it's, her it's, it's about how they felt about it. If it's their passion and they loved it and they wanted to leave you're that You're behind, right. You're right. That's their okay, legacy. Yeah. That's their if legacy. they're like, yeah, yeah, I'm proud of my thing, but if they're like, poor I ruined my life and then they yeah. blew their brains out, yeah. you'd be like, and then I don't that, watch But that. then again, that doesn't really have to do with the whole dead thing as much as just like, even if yeah. they're alive, then but you don't. So. It's like this. So, yeah. like, and this is, this is from me from the other day. Since I, I really can't watch people, can't watch people that like I don't really I, I know. So I had to you know hit the button to go all the way back to you know when they first started posting videos because I don't know them. And then like and I come across a video that I'm like, kind of falling. Was somebody else in it? Was dead? Now? Yeah. I was like, I said I could watch that, but I don't even know if I could watch that because I know. Did you know the person that died? No. That would be different just on an emotional, like, yeah. regular, I missed that. You know, like, that's yeah. a whole other category of that. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I want you to remember me. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you didn't go make nobody bust nuts like that ever again. Aww. Just say it. Pour one out. <laughs> pour out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely about to pour one out. That's perfect. Out. Squeeze one out for the dead Squeeze homies. out for the homies. Uh, honestly, that please was, do for me. Mm -hmm. When I die, like you better... That, that, was, that was for you. Not one out for me. <laughs> you better... Maybe, maybe not not on my grave because you'll get arrested. <laughs> but like... <laughs> but just do one, do one on the ground for me somewhere. <laughs> Has to be on the ground though, like a drink. <laughs> Girl, your work outlasts your life. <sighs> oh my God. I love I love that. This I love where that went. My home Man. I prefer this setup way more than the previous setup. You know it's getting fucking hot in here. I'm not getting hot, but that was that was <laughs> I was the icing on top. That was the icing. No pun intended. Oh my god. <laughs> So where can everybody find you? <laughs> yes, tell us. Well, Instagram's always fleeting. So right now I'm Nina White for real on there. But everywhere else, Nina White Triple X, you can find me and come say what's up. 
And that includes uh, Twitter. Twitter, OnlyFans, ManyVids, uh, Pornhub. Yeah. And if you just want to look up my scenes in general, just look up Nina White. And I'll yeah. be there. Now, hear that? that? This is your prime opportunity because she's new. Or then you can hit her up and be like, oh my God, Nina. Oh my God! I just, <laughs> I just, I just saw you in. Lucas? That's right. Nobody cares about the guys. <laughs> <laughs> you say you and uh, some no, dick. No, no, because I was again. I looked up. No, that's the truth. No, no. Before, before, before the guest comes on, I usually try to research the guest. Whatever. And you be looking at the guys' and names. I, I, you be I, like, yeah, yeah she and I see, see, and and I see guy. the guys' names, whatever, because I know it was one where. That's how I knew she did sing, sing with Liv, because it would show up in the whatever. Yeah. And like it was a scene that someone. That was a big girl gangbang, so it was just all girls. And it was a scene that. Like, we gangbanged Alex Cole. It was great. I love Alex Cole. We all love Alex Cole. That's, he's a, <laughs> such a sweetheart. She is. Like, she was so much smaller in person. She's really small. She's so oh, cute. Really? I was like, God damn, you, you did, tiny. You did get she a good little. picture with her. <laughs> oh, yeah. <they're> <laughs> yeah, like. We were walking past her table, and somebody wanted somebody it, like there just grab her breast, mm-hmm. and we just had to be walking by, and he did it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> You're I'm like, so I, I'll volunteer. I like, hey, get your boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and then I touched her heart. <laughs> like it's not a porn Sorry. convention. <laughs> it was, it was yeah, like, 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 like. I'm Sorry, I'm touching you right now. And like, and I met her at an AVN, like these are AVN house parties, and she was just there. We were about to leave, and she was just she was bundled up like a little innocent person there. I'm like, she's so cute. And like, <laughs> I like to say, you know, greet everybody. I'm like, hey, how you doing? I'm raw. And like, we started speaking. I'm like, oh, you are cool as heck. And yeah, yeah. And then the sister. So, what was I going? To? Oh, it was a video on there about uh, somebody was grateful to somebody, and they gifted her. And I saw that when I was going. To that's what I was saying. I don't know the dude. It was a black dude. Gifted. I know, like, the Drake Yoki scene I was talking about, I, I won the girl. <clears throat> well, against someone, the guy. someone gave, someone did, gave him, like, a workout or gave him advice, financial advice, and hmm. you know, it was just a, a black dude, know. and yeah. I, I haven't I have not filmed professionally with a black guy yet. I filmed sure? with I have not filmed. <laughs> you sure? You know what you're going on in your own career? No, no. Sorry, sorry. Besides besides T, besides T, I, besides T, because was, I have not fucked as many it, white guys until up porn. Up you, it up <laughs> literally, I will, I will literally. find it and I will email it to you. Okay. When I go back home tonight, because it's a T's the only because yeah, and it was funny because it was interracial and I'm like okay. <laughs> It <laughs> like all the white guys aren't interracial, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, it showed up as. So what do we? Unless I'm mistaken. Oh, yeah. you might get some of the. They listed they, the wildest they, things that somebody I didn't, call I didn't, you I didn't like. Watch, hey, I, mean, I didn't watch. I guess. I mean, I do have a goldfish memory, but I mean that's like one thing I pretty much know for sure. I haven't. I will show up. Like when I get back home, I'll, I'll send it to you. Maybe maybe it was a collab because I've been collabing with some people, so. We'll see. We'll figure it out. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we'll figure it out. That would like, be I don't, funny. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Like, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't I know, know the dude. dude. <laughs> I don't know the dude. I just think, just think like. Remember this? Going. I was. Are you this. gonna be like the Nardwar of, of porn? No, because like the thing is <laughs> like, like I was. I was trying to find as much information that I could. Like yeah. I seen okay March seventeenth the Pisces, and that's right. Wow, she doesn't. Yep. yep. Yeah. And I got, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's out there. So I was getting that like being a Pisces. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up right now. Yeah. I'm not falling for that. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, we are not doing this. We love Pisces. I'm sure. I, we do. I'm sure. I think so. I like, think they're okay. Bye, bye, bye. One of my favorite clients is Pisces, mom, I think. My mom's a Pisces. What are you? I'm a Capricorn. What are you? I'm Sagittarius. Cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. No, no, I want to hear this. No, no, I'm I'm not even the one to like say no, shit. Yeah, I mean Sagittarius are great friends, but we're not to be trusted because we're whores. <laughs> and Capricorns are just and emotionally unstable, apparently. Capricorns, especially especially. My mom's men. a Capricorn, which is funny. January, December. January, Mar- MLK Day is her birthday. Isn't that funny? So the thing is, Capricorns are funny. They don't December take sides Capricorn well enough. December Capricorn and January Capricorn they are, are two, different, own side. They're two different monsters. Mm-hmm. They are the right. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a January third. I'm a January Capricorn. Okay. So 
Yeah, I'm on Aries cusp. My mom jokes that she like held me in so I wouldn't be an Aries. <laughs> or push me. I don't know which side it is. I know. Um, the thing is, it's like held me in. I'm a Capricorn, but yes, like, I'm on that side of the country. But like my 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 ascending and rising and all of that crap is all Virgo. Interesting. So I'm a Capricorn with rising sun. Uh, 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 my Venus. All of that is all Virgo. I have too much. Freaking Virgo energy. I have too much water. I'm all water, so I'm super. But it, it's You're cool because as, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm down for whatever, and I'll just go with the flow. And I don't even need to really know what's going on. I'm just like down. So that's me. <laughs> okay, we do got to end this. We do uh, at some point. Yeah. So everybody, go out, <laughs> go out there, support her and everything that she yes, does. Yes, please. Um, give her a shout out, show her love. And make sure, make sure you know you look out for all the great things that she has to offer. If you see this on video, <laughs> she just she just bounced her breast. Yes, so, I did to show you the good um, things. And since this is it, since nothing is showing, you can see that like you can see it if you're watching this one video. So, but you have to go to her site to see everything that's underneath there. So yes, you'll enjoy it, or just Twitter. Just go to Twitter. Just, just go to Twitter. Get yeah. a lot of free pe- previews. Get the, get the free preview and say, "Oh my God!" And then give her all your money. <laughs> all of it. All of it. <laughs> All right, and um, real quick, see where can they find you? Mm, you can find me right What's around up? town. <laughs> <laughs> my penis big, my booty hub brown. I'm fucking dead. Uh, I mean, you can find I me. It. It's <laughs> that's why. That's why I said, yeah. That's just this comedian says she's like, yeah, I don't like. It. it was years ago. Really fucked with my head. I was a kid. She was like, I don't like light skinned dudes because they too, they too colorful. They're too colorful. Yeah, they they ain't uniform. Yeah, Maybe they be right picking this part brown than this one. Oh. Wait, why is that so true? That's so funny. I like it though. It's yeah. teach it's, their own. It's, 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 so, it's, it's okay. We self conscious. That's why we so in our feelings. CW. It's okay. To be That's why light like, skins be like. I can't. CW. It's okay to be the Pokemon. Uh, yeah, the I'm so blotchy yeah. out here. It's, it's okay to be, be the Pokemon. Uh, well, That's exactly man. why Drake is the way he is. Pokemon man. It's oh, okay. God, I'm. That's so funny. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> That's why they're so mad at the dark dudes. They be like, look at your, your skin so nice. You don't got a blotchy girl. Look, at, I look like a patchwork. <laughs> Take off my pants. She's like, what? You light skin? You dark skin? What? You? <laughs> I can see that you got all kinds of different airs in your blood, I guess. I see, I see the black side. I, I see the black side. <laughs> I see some other oh, stuff oh, in there. Oh, yeah, but- Look, you had some, you had some, some little No, age. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> no, when I was born, <laughs> my grandmother was, you know, because they used to have the whole thing where you looked into like a view thing and there's like people in the incubators and shit. She was like, that babe, my dad was like, that's him right there. And she was like, that's right. I think you're wrong, Ronnie. <laughs> that baby white. <laughs> and he was like, no, nah, no, nah, look at his balls. <laughs> Them balls black. That's not baby. <laughs> And that's where it began. Balls that matter. Mm-hmm. That's how so you know. You were white and you're black and thick, which is like. Yeah, you black, gotta look at the balls. Black in this microphone. So. Damn. Jesus. And your skin is coming out of my pants. So. <laughs> you know what? It's not funny anymore. But no, where you can find me, you can find me uh, at CC Fitness. Keeping bellies down and booties round. Uh, I would say find me on Instagram or Facebook, but I deleted those. <laughs> um, they're still there, but you can't reach me. <laughs> so email me at ccfitnessla.com. Oh my God, he said email me. <laughs> or you can find me. my number on Instagram and Facebook. If you're really looking for me, he's like, let me tell me. you, people really aren't right now. Fax me. <laughs> um, a smoke that, uh, signal. I was going to say, <laughs> smoke signal. Telegram. Shoot your flare gun. <laughs> Telegram. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ski ski. Like send a send a singing telegram. Holla at me. Oh, you can find me. I'm at R A W S C A R R Raw Stars, two R's, on Twitter and on Instagram. You can find us at the Burbank Misfits on Instagram, Burbank Misfits on Twitter and on Facebook, and BurbankMisfits.com. That says everything that we do from you know fitness, photography, graphics, uh, and every dang thing else. Um, soon, y'all, uh, we're about to launch our new uh, our new. Uh, 
merch page, whatever. Oh, we got merch. We got merch because everybody is signing the contracts. Oh, oh yeah, would. we're gonna have we're gonna have shirts with girls on them. Yeah, shirts with girls on them. And hoodies. And it's gonna be pictures, pictures. And bucket, <laughs> bucket, bucket, bucket. Yeah, it's gonna be the pictures that either either, <laughs> either, either, either I took or CW JT have taken. And uh so far so far uh it's gonna be Sarah Lace, Samantha Lexi, and it yes. should be Kitty Jaguar and it'll be a few more soon after they, you know, agreed and they sign everything. But yeah Samantha Lexi, I wanna work with you. I will call her today. Okay. Yeah. Yay! And <laughs> <laughs> Yeah I, Story after this. Uh, story time. <laughs> and uh, everybody, please go out there and do everything. And we will see you all next week. Again, be well, stay blessed, and be wonderful to each other. Ciao.